Buenas tardes. It's Tuesday afternoon and I'm on my walk with Micah, this mango, Jamie with his mango, yeah. Ghost with no mango. And uh, it's Tuesday and I'm uh, making this intro to back and, not back and biceps, to chest and triceps, which was completed yesterday. Uh, my 13 year old son joined me and uh, he helps me get assisted reps. Mm. Uh, he's getting he's getting very good at uh, spotting me. He was he's new to working out, so he's getting newbie gains all the time. And I'm trying to teach him everything I know. And he's gaining a lot of strength week to week. Uh, today's back in biceps. He gained he gained a lot of reps on his uh, deadlift that you'll see to, uh, on the back in biceps workout. And even on bench press, he's gaining weight. Uh, he's getting stronger. And um, all we're doing is one set to failure. He's doing one set to failure. And then we're helping each other get assisted reps. And that's, that's all you need. The key is to um, work out enough um, every day. Not, it doesn't have to be every day. We have to work out enough to uh, get your muscles fatigued and tired um, to a point where they can recover and get stronger by the time you do your next workout. So if you're doing uh two three four five sets and you're not seeing progress from week to week uh you're probably doing too much you're getting too much into a deficit your body's maybe recovering but it's not getting stronger than it was the week before and do less do less reps uh but do it intense do one intense set to failure and that's it and uh the benef the benefits outweigh the negatives there are really aren't any negatives to do once with the failure. You save time. Uh, the only negative is that it is more intense and you can't be a little bitch when you're doing it because it can, it's really mental. But um, enough of that. Um, enjoy my workout. Like and subscribe. And come back tomorrow for back and biceps. Bye. Bye, Micah. Micah, say bye. 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 First thing we do on Tuesday morning for back and biceps is uh, I do false grip pull-ups as a warm-up and to get stronger in the uh, false grip. Uh, Aiden's going to do regular pull-ups to get stronger in his pull-ups on the rings. And last week I did five. Usually I'm able to get six. Uh, and I've been getting seven pull-ups seven pull and chin-ups recently. So there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to get seven false grip pull-ups and I'm not sure how many Aiden can do and let's see what he does. Okay, let's see how many pull-ups Aiden can do. Okay. One, yeah, all the way down. Two. Three. Four. And try pulling for one more. That's good. That's really good. I think it's a lot more than what you usually do. Yeah, you got free last time. Okay, let's see how many false grip ones I can do. Yeah. So the most important thing, not the most important thing, but really important is the chalk for the false grip. And usually I wash the rings, but I forgot to wash the rings on Sunday. I actually have an alarm for it, so I forgot to do it. But, um... Uh, they should be fine. I untaped, I untaped where the where the blue tape was last week. You can see it's gone. So it should be clean there for a nice grip. And I think the wood is the best grip. Keep trying different types of um, grips on there, but just just wood is uh, the best. And let's see how many false grips. Oh, it's good. oh I'm busy. Hey, what do you think he doesn't know that? I got seven, and Micah's crying, Noel said. So I got seven, 
which is actually a PR and then we got seven on the Fosker pull-ups and so let's go warm up and let's go on to the deadlift the next exercise we do is the deadlift Aiden's doing 140 he has 140 on the bar last week I think he did six with 140 so this week he should be able to do eight reps and that's just with one set to failure I did 285 and I did that for nine reps and I'll probably do that again this week because I'm cutting so I'm not gonna be gaining any strength but I'll be just focusing on losing fat and trying to keep as much muscle as possible so let's see what happens my big boy Aiden's gonna deadlift 145 or 140 I mean yeah. as many times as he can with his arms straight yeah don't bend your arms pull the slack out and just stand up bar up against your legs yeah up and down your legs one, two, three, four, five. Look strong. Six. Try to stand more up straight up. Seven. Stand up. Yeah. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ah. Fucking strong today. Strong boy today. That's really good. You got four more than last week. Huh? Look, you got four more than last four, four more than last week. And all you did <laughs> and all you did was one set to failure. Shit. You didn't mess around doing two sets, three sets, four sets. Exactly. Now it's my turn. Wait, let me drop set. Let me do a drop okay, set. Okay, go. Or just do a rest pause. Just rest for a little bit. Or pop off those 2.5s on each side and you can go again. No, I'll do a rest pause. Wait. So rest for a second and then go again. <laughs> Stop, go away. Okay, and go again. You should be able to do a couple more. What did I tell you, Noah? Get the cat out. Go. And as you get stronger, you get better technique and everything. Yeah, yeah that's it. Right, it's fine. That's good. That's enough to progress for next week. Yeah. yeah. So, so I always chalk up before I deadlift because the grip is one of the key factors to completing the sets without having to let go of the bar. Uh -huh. And I also I switch to a mixed grip, which also helps uh, hold the bar in place. I'm not letting it down. And so I should really get nine reps here. What was that? She got 10. I don't know why I keep getting more reps. <laughs> I think maybe I'm sleeping better. But I'm gonna drop down to 255 and go again. And if you hear my fucking my fucking bones cracking. Yeah, what was that? Huh? What was that? One was my knee, one was my back. <laughs> Is it like the ligaments? No, it's gas. Uh, Is that cracking your knuckles? It's the gas. Uh -huh. your joints. I don't know, I guess we're 37, things start cracking. I guess. That's it, that's it, that's, that's it. it. That's what one set the failure looks like. Go all out on the working set, do the drop set, and you're done. You don't need any more sets. On to the next exercise.
The next exercise we do is the bent over rows, the barbell, and Aiden's gonna do 85. He did 85 last week, but I wasn't happy with his technique. I think he can do better. And what I like to do is focus on good technique and then focus on gaining eight to 10 reps. So Aiden's gonna do 85 again. Uh, I did, um, I don't fucking remember now. I think 220, I did 227 times. So I'm gonna do 220 again and I should get seven or eight. Or maybe I'll drop down a little bit so I can get eight to 10 reps. I wanna get more kind of full range of motion. I might, even, I might even drop down to 180 and see if I can get the bar closer to my body. So I might, I'll try that. Not 180, 200, 200. Something happened and I didn't record his workout, but he did a very good job. He got 10 reps with a lot better technique. And um, it's unfortunate they didn't record it. But uh, next week, he'll have even better technique. He'll be stronger. So you'll get to see it next week. And it's my turn. I'm going to do 220. No, I said I'm going to do less. I'll do 210. Drop 10 pounds. And let's see if I can get more full range of motion. Okay. Stop me if I can't do anymore. So I got 210 on the bar. Just 10 less than last week. So you'll get a lot more range of motion. Get ready to rumble. Oh, what the hell? Bench is in the way. Hit the bench. Get ready to go. Shane, you're breaking your bones. The next exercise we do is the um, is the cable row with the V grip. And last week Aiden did 10 reps with 85, so he's gonna do 90 this week. I did eight reps with 200, so I'm gonna do 200 again. And let's see if that's true. Aiden's all ready to go. Get your legs nice and straight, yeah, and pull. Go to your stomach. Pull to your stomach. Yeah, like that. One, two, three. Your technique's better every week. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Go, keep going. Mean. Go, go, go. Nine. Go again, go again. Can you go again? No. Go pull, pull, pull. Pull, 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 pull. Pull, 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 pull. There, that's fucking perfect. That's all you need. So strong you are? Huh? Next week you do 95. 95? Yeah. Oh Shit. You Ready? 
That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's it. So you're ready now. So we got eight ish. Eight will help me with two more. And we can't do any more. That's it. No. On to the last exercise. The last exercise we do is chin ups. And chin ups are like pull ups, but your arms are facing towards you. And it's the best back and bicep exercise you can do because you work your bicep on the on the shoulder joint and on the elbow. And um, Aiden's gonna go first. I'm not sure how many he can do, but I did seven last week. And then I should do seven again this week. And then I'll do a drop set with the assistant band. And Aiden's, let's see, I think he's gonna set, set a PR today. Do it. Yeah. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Wait, wait. Yeah, I'll spot you. I'll spot you. Go, 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 go. Ah. Grab you lower. Go, 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 What the hell are you doing? Struggling with the phone. Okay. Hey, okay. you good? You drop down in it. Yeah. So that, was, that wasn't the best, but Aiden got one extra rep which is beneficial and next week he'll be stronger yeah and now he'll record me i should be able to get should be able to get seven maybe i'll get more but i'll should get the band so i'll do that and i'll grab the band and then i'll do some more okay i'll be down all the way up you're bending the bar My father is officially bent galvanized steel. With his pure, pure body weight. So all the way down. Once a complete dead hang on every rep. And I'm gonna grab the Resistance band, do a couple more. So drop sit with the band. <laughs> this part's this sometimes is dangerous. Perhaps she's less dangerous with the ladder. The the stepping stool is extremely dangerous. This makes you feel a lot safer with the ladder. And I bet you this thing's gonna break. So I ordered a new one. See this? Yeah. I bet you it's gonna break. There's a new one coming in the mail. <laughs> it's gonna get a snap again. Be like, fuck's sake. So I did as many as I could on the working set, I did as many as I could in the drop set, okay. and then I pulled for 10 seconds on the last rep, because that's all. I'm only doing one set, and so I went all out, my biceps are burning, I'm sweating, and that's it, work goes finished. Uh, like and subscribe, come back tomorrow for Grip and Forms, enjoy the rest of your day.